I think it's time we do a little bit of remix in here. Oh, yes. Computers, gaming, retro gear, devices, tech reviews, and more. Kicking off with Android. I went ahead and downloaded it. Now we're trying it in VirtualBox. And I've already tried this before and unfortunately it tells me that you know my USB stick is not fast enough. Well that's kind of a bummer. Then it goes to this screen. It does some activity for a while. And then it goes to this screen and just sits here and does nothing else. So let's go ahead and try it on guest mode here. Well under guest mode it will boot up. But the only problem is, well, as you can see, there's a blinking cursor. So this isn't going to work for uh, live streaming it like I wanted to. What's even weirder is there's no mouse unless I hold down the mouse button and bring and hold. Hold down the mouse button and then, as you can see, it's kind of acting like it's a, uh, what do you say, uh, my finger. So I hold, as you can see, yeah. So. I guess this is a fail, so I'm going to try it on my Acer laptop and see what happens on that. Okay, it looks like the Acer laptop's booting. Let's go ahead and try the resident mode again. It's giving me that USB error again. Then it makes it this far, and the computer reboots. Let's go ahead and try guest mode this time. And will it do something this time? Come on. Let's boot up, baby. Let's boot up. Let's check this out. And the computer just restarted again. Darn. Failed again. Hmm. Let's try my wife's computer. Let's try this resident mode again. Okay, giving us that same USB error. See if we can boot into something this time. Hmm, looks a little bit more promising. Well, failure again. USB stick is doing nothing with activity and it is frozen locked solid at this Remix OS screen again. Let's try guest mode. Alright, let's try guest mode this time. After this, I don't know, I'm out of options, especially if I want to live stream it. This is not making me very happy. It's taken a while, but at least I see activity on the USB stick. Finally, something it works on. Works on my wife's Toshiba laptop. And we're at a desktop. So with this, I can go ahead and plug the HDMI cable into my capture card and go ahead and live stream this and explore it some. I'm sorry, but unfortunately, uh, from this laptop, Remix OS is interlaced. Yay, gotta love interlaced video. After many crashes on this machine, I finally got a successful boot, so I'm not sure how long this boot's going to last or how long it's going to stay with us here. This uh, Remix OS is still in alpha. So here we are. This is what it looks like when you get past the welcome screen and get onto the desktop. It's got a trash icon. It's got a settings icon and a file manager. And it's got Slenderman in the background in some desert on the moon. I don't know. He's looking up at the northern lights or he's broadcasting northern lights. I have no clue what he's doing. Uh, down here in the bottom right corner, it's got, I believe this is notifications. Uh, we got a clock here that's got the incorrect time. Let's see, what's this icon? This icon is our Wi-Fi. Um, this is input methods. US English and Chinese. More over here, we've got a volume control, uh, Bluetooth, memory cleanup, Already here on the dock, you got your basic Android options, which this is, is your back, and this is your home. And it looks like there's downloads, which has nothing in it right now at the moment. And let's go ahead and click on whatever this weird symbol here is at the bottom. Names, date updated, usage. Okay, so I use the file manager the most. Okay, that's cool to know. I can search for it, but I don't know what's the point of searching because there's no apps in here. Um, looks like it comes pre-installed with a browser, a calculator, camera, a clock, downloads, file manager, Google... Uh, what? Okay, I'm just going to... Okay, that's, that's the keyboard crap. 
And just like you were on an Android, you click back, goes back. MX player. I'm not sure what an MX player is. Uh, we got music, settings, and widgets. The settings, of course, we got Wi Fi, Ethernet, Bluetooth, VPN. Interesting. Printing. Cool. I don't own a printer. I haven't owned a printer in a long, long time. I tried connecting to the Wi Fi, but it's very finicky. I couldn't get it to work. Let's move on here and see what's in the display settings. What kind of display settings? Okay, we got wallpaper and then we can sleep this thing and, well, it's on a laptop, so I don't think I can rotate the screen. Let's see what wallpapers we got here. Um, we got the Slenderman one. We've got a Mountain View. Ooh, Sunset Mountain View. Uh, what's this? Lens flares. Ocean spray. Uh, rip off from Google Maps, it looks like. Abstract. You know what? Let's, let's just go with the mountain because I like that. What else we got in here? Sound settings. Okay. Also vibrate for calls. You got to realize this is made for desktop PCs. And I'm not sure. Unless they make a desktop PC that vibrates, that'd be interesting. Phone ringtones. What do we got in here? That's one ringtone. That's it. Okay. I can get down with that, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Okay, default ringtone. Okay, it's gonna vibrate this computer, I don't know how, but it's gonna do it. Uh, language and input, time and date. Oh yeah, let's try to fix this time and date here. I'm supposed to get it from the internet, but it doesn't seem to be doing a very good job. I need to be able to set the time zone. Let's try this, see if I'm in here. Ah, there we are, cool. Now the time's right, default apps. Music and gallery, that's it. Uh, notifications? Okay, it'll notify me of anything and everything, right? That's just what I need. More notifications to annoy me. Applications. So this is what is pre-installed with this thing. According to the menu, it only looks like there's a few apps, but there's a lot on the back end here. Security settings and just basic screen lock. Make password visible. That's what people need. Yeah, make passwords visible. Why would you want that? I don't know. Doesn't sound very secure if someone's like uh, looking over your shoulder. Oh, what's your password? Location settings. Well, that didn't seem to work because it didn't update the time. We've got accounts. There's no accounts in here. Accessibility. What's in here? And large text. High contrast text. Okay. So basically, if you're blind, this will help you out. Experimental features. Uh, okay. It's going to give me a warning. You want experimental features? Okay. It's not reset and about. So it's running Android 5.1.1. Kernel version 4.0.9. Android x86 64 bit. Yay! Oh wow, okay, he's got OpenGL drivers. That's kind of impressive. Oh, widgets. Ooh, what's in the widgets? Ooh, cool, it's a clock. Okay, we can add more. I can add an analog clock or a digital clock. Oh. Cool. Let's see what we got for music. Uh, it's just standard music player, but doesn't seem to be any music here. I can't. There's no music here. Recently added nothing. Not a dang thing. Okay, well, if you right-click on the app, you can quit the thing. Okay, let's see what the MX player is. Oh, boy. Okay, it's giving me a bunch of information here. Um, okay. I can live without hardware acceleration right now, especially for how long it took me to get this going. Okay. Uh, what do we got in here? Oh shoot, it's got music. Um, <clears throat> file manager. Hmm. It looks like any other file manager that you would see in the Linux world. It's got some pictures. Ooh, got some photographs here. I guess they're going to make a device for this operating system. It looks kind of cool. Um, yeah, you get some free pictures with it. Music? No, nope, no, nope, doesn't include any music. Oh, there's that video file we just saw. The downloads, nothing. Desktop, just what we see over here. I might remix what's in here. Hmm. I wonder if I could start deleting stuff and break stuff. And this... Ooh. I don't know how this... Okay, settings. Okay, kind of gives you a breakdown of all the all the stuff you have on your system. And what does this do? Oh, okay, it just removes it from over here. Cool. Ooh, show hidden files. Full. Okay, yeah, now let's go back here. Let's see if we can find any secrets in this thing. Hey, scroll down. Nope. The only hidden folder was the trash folder. Cool. Oh, what's the clock do? Ooh, that's really cool. Can you change the color? I don't like that color. All 
right? You can set an alarm. You can snooze it. Alarm volume. We'll make that real loud because you know you need to wake up in the morning. And uh, can we set alarm? Okay. Stopwatch. Okay. So none of these are clickable. Nice. What's this button do? Oh, time zones. I'm not like super wild to press. Let's see what the camera does. Shall we? Next. I can see myself. Ooh. Let's take a picture. Okay, we got a picture. Cool. Although that there's a lot of lag in that camera. It's not smooth whatsoever. Okay, we got grid lines or whatever those things are called. Stopwatch. Ooh, ten seconds. No, I don't want to take any more pictures. Please stop. Calculator. Ooh, now this is really cool. I wonder what uh, five times five is. Twenty-five. Yeah, cool. Learn something every day. It's just a calculator. And clear it. What's more do? Oh wow. I, I, Oh, it's pie. What are you doing? Uh, let's see. The browser. Ooh, what are we getting here? Only thing I'm noticing so far is there's no app store. Except it does. If I go to the browser, it takes me to Google Play. Let's. Angry Birds 2 it says it's compatible with my device. Let's see what happens here. Please wait. Angry Birds will be installed to your device soon. Um, installed? Is it in here? I don't see no Angry Birds. Let's see how well it takes my website. Yeah, there's a lot of flash on there and HTML5 from the YouTubes. Okay. Let's see if it can play audio. Con Pi. Mm. Yeah, so all the mm -hmm. HTML5 stuff's working. What about a video? Let's try a video. I saw Brayhawk, you know, on the Brayhawk Tech Channel doing a little New Year's workstation area. Okay, that's tour. not full screen at all. 2016. It actually just went to the size of the browser. Interesting. Huh. Well, well, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Okay, where do I get the uh, APK? Where is it? Where is it? Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Let's go ahead and open this. Starting download. Oh, now we have something that downloads. Cool. Let's go ahead and open this. Um, yeah, why not? Worst thing we can do is break this thing, right? Let's try that again. This sounds good. Let's go ahead and install this. I mean, I could see this being very useful for somebody. I think I click was that. Being very useful for somebody who just wants to browse the internet, check some emails, stuff like that. There we go. Which one's the real download link here? <laughs> wow, it's not very not very speedy. How many megabytes was that? Forty nine. It would have been nice if they had at least Google Play installed by default to get you started. All right, all right, we're getting somewhere here. Ooh, yay, okay, looks like it wants me to log in. We're on Google Play now. Let's see what kind of apps we can uh, play with here. What well, looks cool, Star Trek Timelines. Hmm, pick this one, it's free. It's a piano. Uh, sure. Error, okay, well, lovely. So after all that, the Google Play Store does not work. Oh, let's check on that Angry Birds download. Okay, we got something now. All right, let's install this. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I can crash this thing. Let's see how Angry Birds runs on this thing. I used to be uh, addicted to this game back on the back in the day. Okay, Fly Birdie. Ooh, that interlacing is horrible, though. My God, that's so interlaced. Eat that, piggy. It's not Windows, but it's a dumb version of Linux. That's basically what this is. It is definitely a dumb version of Linux. Still needs some work, of course. It is, you know, it is alpha. So I guess if you got the, uh, the APK, you can get apps installed. Any of those users still using Windows XP, this would definitely be something. If it wasn't so broken, it'd be de something I'd definitely uh, install on people's machines if they just wanted to do the basics. I mean, they can run any Android games if they're into that. Uh, but yeah, it definitely needs a, a built. They definitely need to work on getting a default app store of some kind in here, at least to deal with Amazon, at least to deal with uh, Google, one of the two, unless there's other stores out there. Is there like a task manager? Can I get into a terminal and really start screwing stuff up? Google Play Services. 
There it is. Okay, so I cleared that one, and the other one was Google Play Store. Framework, framework. Where are you at, framework? Oh, there you are. Oh, this one actually says clear data on it. Okay. It just told me I have an update for Angry Birds. Angry Birds. Let's update this thing, shall we? Update. I accept, man. Can't update app. Okay. Cannot be downloaded due to error. So at least I'm getting a different message this time. Does this do this when I look for an app, too? Let's do this with everything. Yeah, it still gives me the same error. I've had enough of this. I will definitely be back to check on this. So I'm pretty much going to wrap it up there. I mean, I did play with it. I am liking what I'm seeing, definitely. I can't wait to see what they do with this in the future here. I think after a few months of development, it'll at least, you know, I think once it hits beta, it's definitely going to improve a lot more. As of right now, it's just a waiting game. Give them feedback, say, well, my feedback is we definitely need a, a more default app store to help. That works without hacking it. There's my first impressions of Remix OS. Well, what do you expect? It is alpha. We're going to call this the Slender Man Edition. And with that, I'm going to end this video here. This is Anthony from Anthware, and from this time and every time on, folks, keep on clicking. This is Anthony from Anthware, signing off.